Hello and welcome back to part 3 of the Fresh Rum series. We are playing as Caraman, going to farm rum, well, sometime. Uh, we have had a, I would say, a slowish start, but it's not terrible. We have survived two wars with Ottomans and we are going to attack Armenia next. And let's just go for it. They have a level 3 capital fort. That sucks. Well, this is going to be a very quick war. We already got a wall breach. Yeah, I think we just take all of this for ourselves and not give it to our vassal. I think that makes more sense because then we can expand a little bit here. For our vassal, we can expand them um, on like Sherwan and stuff like that. I think that makes more sense. So we'll just take all their money and full annex and the coalition is nothing. And 152, 30 or extension, that's all fine. Good. Alright, so this disaster, it proceeds every time we are overextended. At this rate, it will fire 1489, but um, our overextension will go away in 1488. So it shouldn't fire right now, but you know, we'll have to do something about it eventually. Alright, let's see when uh, Hungary's truce is expiring. It has expired already. Alright, so if we attack you right now, Hungary and Mamluks will come in with promise of land. And they are allied to Morocco. And the Gazi guy, which is really small, and Crimea, which is uh, a pain, but I think we do attack them. Are you fighting anyone? No. Are you fighting anyone? No. I think it's time. It's time one more time. And in this war, I'm hoping that we would be able to take some provinces. Here comes the third Ottoman war, and this might be a big one. So we'll reconquest for Take Kor Hamid. This one. And just hope that our uh, allies do things. So they're level 7. We are level 7. Hungary is level 7. And Mamluks are level 7 as well. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Morocco? Morocco is level 6. That's excellent. And they have some uh, rebels or pretender rebels. Great. That'll keep them occupied a little bit longer. And um, yeah. Let's see what we can do about this now. All right, let's go for it. This time, if we actually put our navies together, we can do something with navy as well. Yeah, if we group up, then it will work out, but uh, AI never groups up, so. Oh my god, we are winning the naval battles. Wow. All right, we'll go help them out. And there is their army. We don't want to fight that. We do want to go and take care of that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Gotta run away. So hopefully we win that. Yeah, we do win that. Nice. Alright. So, where's your navy? That one. That is a big navy. We'll go and attach to that. And we'll let AI take care of that. And, um... We'll play the same game again. We'll just wait for Mamluks to get their armies here and then we'll go and uh, take care of Ottomans. They're going back, that's good. Uh, because they're going to take care of Hungary. Mm, maybe we can start moving there. All right, oh, there comes uh, Mamluks. Are you going to attach to me? Mamluks is subsidizing us with 5.5 ducats. So they are giving us like nine ducats or nine ducats a month <laughs> thanks i guess how much money do you have mamluks where are you going you're going coming to me all right come on let's go and take care of that don't take it don't yes we got him nice all right let's take that so our navy's there okay Hungary has divided its army for some reason, because that's what AI does. They are not being annoying yet. Okay. Iraqi Separatists are here. That sucks. It's also a big chunk. 17k. Uh, we won a naval battle. That's nice. There. Okay. So Hungary lost that. That's fine. And they're going to lose that one too. Portugal is attacking Morocco. Or they're planning on. That's great. Uh, then Morocco won't uh, come here. 
and the star bus. Okay, they don't even have a leader. It's crap. All right, now they're coming here. Come on, get it. Okay, that's all of their army basically, right? Oh no, that's the other one. Why are they there? And you are running away because uh, of that. It's fine. Hey, Morocco, you want to peace out by any chance? Minus eight. Okay. So, uh, you know, keep dodging them. They have 50k here. So there's no one here. Hungary should really go ham on them now. Now's the time. They are going to Mamluks, okay? Uh-oh. Run away? Alright, I think they're coming for us. They are attacked by Portugal, yes! Alright, so they'll peace out pretty soon. Morocco is going to get occupied. They still have the rebels. They haven't dealt with their rebels yet. And yeah, they're going to peace out pretty soon. Yeah, they're going to come there. Alright, let's... Uh Uh oh, they are going to die. I can't do anything about it. I think it's time to run away. Alright, run away. Yeah, that's 50k. They're dead. And all we can do is literally run away. Alright, let's see if Morocco will peace out now. Zero. Okay. Morocco low. Okay, I think they'll peace out now. White piece, yes, go away. All right. All right, we have 19 war score. How are our allies feeling? Pretty good, so far, nothing uh, crazy. All right, so they are really going hard for uh, Mamluks. So maybe we can siege down a couple more provinces here, or forts rather. Okay, they're coming back now. Alright, time to run away, I guess. So they are low now, and we can still get 16 war score from our war goal. Our minion are going to fire, we can't do anything about it, and Iraqi separatists are just being annoying. Our general died, that sucks, but it's okay, we'll get a new one. Three siege is amazing, but no shock is pretty bad. All right, you're coming there again. All right, run away. Hungary, where are you going? No, siege down their capital. Take this one. Why are you going there? Oh, please tell me they aren't going to cry, Viana. That will be a waste of time. And oh my god, they are coming here. They are going, no, they're going there. Okay, yeah, we need to run away. To like, run. They want to peace out. They are low enthusiasm. Uh, will you peace out? You will peace out. All right, let's peace you out. Whoa, run away, okay. Okay, so if you take all your money, you'll give me all your money. We don't have a lot of war participation, that's the problem. So we have 13%, Mamluks have 58, Hungary 27. And say we take one province, and then we give something to Mamluks, wait. Occupied by Mamluks, but they don't want it? Cannot be selected because Mamluks does not want it. So why are you mad? Oh my god. They want it. Wh what? Game? Oh my god. Man, looks, that's the only province that you want from them. And you won't take it? Alright, so. We can take all their money. Everyone will be happy, right? I want to give this to Mamluks, but Mamluks are being a dick and they don't want it. They say because Mamluks does not want it. So literally the only province I can give them is this one. And they don't want it. Even though they want it, they don't want it. I don't know what to do. So if I take like a couple of provinces here, right? 
those are my cores. They'll be super angry. They'll be super angry. But I can give that to Hungary. Hungary will be like, cool. All right, four favors. Four favors is pretty good. But Mamluks will be very sad. So the question is, do we just piece them out like this? Because they have 53k here. There is no army that is going to fight that stack, right? So this will mean that Mamluks will break their alliance with us. Definitely, there's no doubt about it. And we don't have enough favors with them to increase the trust yet. Or we can just take their money for now and then come back again. Five years, seven years rather. We're gonna keep expanding here. Hopefully Mamluks will be okay by then. By then we'll have enough favors with Mamluks that we can attack Ottomans again. We are having enough favors with Hungary that we don't need to give them anything. I guess that's the play here because I really don't want to lose Mamluks as allies. They're a really good ally. They're going to help me out here as well. And uh, yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I can't take anything. Even war reps are going to make them really mad. All right, so just money it is. That was a waste of time. All right, you guys got to tell me what I'm missing here. Clearly, I'm missing something or it's a bug. One of those things. All right, let's just peace out. Let's go take care of our rebels. Sad days, but what can you do? We'll just take the money for 90 ducats. Oh, there's the separatists. All right, not getting subsidies. That means we'll lose money now. And that's fine. We have some money. Plus 10 prestige and plus 1 staff for 25 ducats. Oh, hell yes. That's amazing. All right. So we took care of both rebels. Siege ability plus 15%. That's huge. All right. Hopefully they won't come back. Who can we attack next? Can we attack Sherwan? Circassia and Masan. Circassia is one province by Masan and it's kind of big. Artable? Don't have CB on them, but Artable will be perfect. Let's uh, build network on Artable. Oh my god, those Severtists are back. What the hell? All right, we can choose a new idea group. So for second idea group, we're going to take influence, I think, because we are going to play a big vassal game. And um, I guess we could also take admin or mercs and coding costs. And we might take religious later when we are expanding a little bit somewhere else that's not all Sunni. All our religion, but I think influence is the second idea group I want to take. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go fight those damn rebels that are not even our rebels. And since we don't have any manpower, we need 7,000 men. We're just going to have to do this. Also, we need to give all these things to Demi. Uh, Demi. There. Coptic and Coptic. So yeah, um, yeah, I forgot to I think mention this before, but Demi gives minus five tech cost plus one tolerance of heathens, so always keep their loyalty high. It always helps. And so if we attack you now, Kasikmuk will join in, but they are a non-issue. And the thing is, this is in Aleppo trade note, so we can attack them and take them on. Kara we can also attack you. We don't have any manpower though. Ardable, we can also attack you. So let's attack this guy first because it's just one province. It'll be easier to deal with. And then we can come back to Ardable and then see where we go from there. So that's a level one for It's going to be easy. We have level three siege guy. Moorish Flux. Dev cost, tech cost, idea cost for uh, 15 years or 25 years rather. Minus 50 to below minus 25 admin power. That's great. Plus one base tax, prestige, Castile. You don't care about Castile. Yes, please. Give that to me. Arbus declared on Genoa. Interesting. So Genoa is that and that. So who are you fighting? Genoa, East Frisia, Mecklenburg, Mantua, Cyprus, and Hungary. Oh, wow. They're fighting a lot of people. Well, they're going to win it. <laughs> but uh, interesting. So that means Hungary's truce will reset, which is unfortunate. All right, so give me all your money and your war reps. I'll take some rivalry because I want some prestige. There. So we get 12 prestige. That's amazing. All right. Let's 
done, let's come back. And all your money, and full annexation, and... Okay. So if you're like Shirwan, they're allied to a lot of people. Kara, Mamluks will come with the promise of land. Oh, Iraq found, by the way. Iraq is allied to Mushasha and Ardabil. Okay, so Ardabil now has one ally, that's Iraq. So maybe we can uh, vassalize Iraq and take uh, all that. They'll be angry because we have some cores of theirs, but we can attack Mushasha. Who are you allied to? Mosandar and Ajam, yeah, that's not a big alliance at all. The other thing we can do is we can attack Kara, right? And we can call in Mamluks with promise of land. And we can actually give them a little bit of land here, so we'll get more favors with them. Maybe we can do that. This will be a very quick war with Kara, it's not going to take long at all. We'll just take that for a vassal, and we'll take their money. Yeah, let's attack Kara. Mm, call in Mamluks. Are you busy with something, Mamluks? No, you're not. Okay. And we'll do a reconquest war. Let's go. Alright, yeah, let's finish this war right here. So, we give those two Mamluks. We take that for our vassal. And we take all their money. So we get 100 ducats. Uh, Mamluks... We gain 6 favors from Mamluks, which is amazing. Yeah, let's do it. Very, very quick war. Nice. I like those wars. You also got 9 power projection. Great. Arwens is getting seized a little bit. Just a little bit. Tiny bit. So we can attack Arwens again in 2 years. And now we have favors with Mamluks. 16 favors actually. Alright, so... Ottomans are busy with uh, fighting Hungary, right? They only have 11 war score against Hungary, Genoa, and who else they're fighting. Who are they fighting? Genoa, East Prussia, Mecklenburg, Mantua, Cyprus, and Hungary. So, the war has been going on for a while, so I think they will peace out soonish. But I think this is also a great time to attack them once more, because now Mamluks will come in without promise of land. Hungary won't join them because they're already fighting them. But we can still do a reconquest and take some things. And this time we don't have to give Mamluks anything. So I think this might be a really good time to attack Ottomans. And I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Uh, war number four against Ottomans. Hopefully this time it works out. Let's see. Mamluks is giving us three ducats. That's great. Austria is giving us four ducats. Wow, dude. Are you serious? Seven ducats and subsidies. And we get the war. Nice. That is excellent. Alright, so Ottomans finally pieced out Genoa. And they got both uh, provinces that they needed. Okay. That's not good. The good thing now is that they don't have any allies. That's great. So we can just concentrate on Ottomans. The bad thing is that now all Ottomans are going to come towards the side. It's going to suck. A lot and they definitely have built up their navy back i think yeah oh yeah big time so we can't really take them on their naval side this time all right let's see where their army is at we'll have to keep a close eye they're going to come here really soon all right we got that siege that's excellent that's 33k maybe they can hold off for a little bit that's their army okay all right, they are coming towards this side. Uh, I think we should stay near Mamluks. We should not be on our own here. We don't have anything, basically. Hey, Ottomans, why don't you take care of my rebels there? Go and seize that down. All right, that's the rest of the army, I think. We got that. That's excellent. All right, they're already at medium. Oh, both our subsidies are canceled now. Great. It's not what we wanted. That's not bad at all. Actually, they're not fighting us. Uh, instead, they're going... Oh, no. Why are you fighting them, man? Looks. Can you take it? Oh, my God. They actually took it. <gasps> That's amazing. Hey, go fight that. Pretty 
Tender Rebels. Great Horde declared war upon Ottomans. Oh my god. That's amazing. So now you're fighting. Oh, that's great. This might be the war, guys. This might be the war. Although, this is... Uh, how far away are you from that? Um, 45 months. Okay, I think you can take it. So that's their army, and that's their defeated army. It's going to cross over and come back soon. Where are you going? Trabazon. Okay. Oh my god, we got that in 21%. That's amazing. They are going to Adirne. Okay. I think we can kill them before that. Then maybe we can just sit there and not let them cross. So Mamluks is going after my rebels. That's pretty good. Alright, so we have 30%. Can't, I know we can't take that. Oh, minus 122. Well, we don't have their capital. That's a problem. And we can't cross the strait because they have a huge navy. Um, so maybe not that. That's only minus two. Those are the provinces we need for farming rum. We can also take our course back. All right. So they are coming there. They're fighting that. And they're getting occupied there as well from Great Horde. That's great. You are coming back here. Okay. Why don't you go fight that? They are coming. I think they are coming for me. So I should probably run away from here. I think we should just go and take care of that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, where's your army ornaments? Did you go? I think they went there. I think they're going to fight Great Horde. Yeah, they are. Nice. Let's uh, siege down some more of them. So we are also improving relations with Poland because now they are bordering Ottomans. Although I don't think we need more help. Colonialism is here. Cool. Coming here. They are chasing them. Mushasha announced Karaman as new rival. Cool. That is very convenient. You won that siege. Excellent. And... They lost the war. Alright, so basically this is it. This is as good as it gets. Their war enthusiasm is low. We can't get their capital. Although we technically can. We can walk all the way there. But uh, they have their main armies there. It's no use. So if we take all that, right? We take our cores back. Don't we have one more core here somewhere? Yeah. But we can use that reconquest again. So if we take all that. And... You won't give me all your money. There. We get 239 ducats. Mamluks get the rest of it. And really 29 more extensions. So we will have to fight uh, peasants after this. But that's fine. I think this is worth it. Can we get that by any chance? What if we don't take this? What if we don't take this? Take that. That, that. You know what? I'm going to hold on for a second. And see if we can get 21 more war score. Somehow. Alright. Mamluks are still doing work there. That is pretty nice. Minus two! Oh my god, maybe we can take Constantinople. And then we'll have a bridge. Damn the money, we'll take Constantinople. Alright, so now do we get greedy and wait for them to seize down more? Or do we just take this? This is as good as it gets, seriously. We take Constantinople from them. And so we get a land bridge. We don't have to have a giant navy. We can just walk across and take care of them from there. That is huge. So let's just wait and see what they do. Where is your army, Ottomans? I don't understand. Where is your army? Okay, they're chasing their army, I think. They see them. Yeah. How much more can we get from uh, five war score more? So we just wait. Yeah, we just chill here. And we see what Mamluks can do. We keep a close eye. All right, that's their army. Okay, I think this is the best we can do. They have sieged down as much as they can. They are here. Uh, they're going to try to unsiege all this. They have particularists. Yes, this is good. All right, so that and then give me all your money. Oh my God, we can do so much. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy right now. 
All right, so we take some money. We can take some of these cores back as well. He has a couple of cores there. Take that and that for our uh, vessel. You won't give me that. He'll give me one of that. So I think we take it. Take that. Okay. So that's my vassal score. So that way we connect your vassal. That's good. And then rest of it, we'll just take a little bit of money, whatever you give them. 129 duck. Uh, 111 ducats. Will you give me war reps instead of that? No, you won't. Okay. Um, there. There. There! We have done it! So we take the provinces needed to form Ram, and that will really weaken Ottomans. They're going to get attacked by everyone now, and slowly, slowly they will die. But it'll be a slow and painful death, but that's fine. Uh, we give one to our vassal, we don't give anything to Mamluks, that's fine. We take some money, and we get 111 ducats. That's perfect. And 67% war extension, that means we'll have to fight the Peasants' War, but that's fine. This is all worth it. This is totally, totally worth it. Boom! Done! Third Caribbean's Reconquest of Hamid. Finally, finally we got him. We lost a lot of men, though. And ships. But that was mostly Mamluks. Yes, 17 power projections shared between us. Excellent. Now go deal with your particularists. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's prepare for that. And let's do that. 